wanted so bad because you have always searched for belonging and wanting to be wanted. Was that a part of why it was such a big deal for you to get a peach? I'm going to be honest with you. It was times I'll be like, well, why not me? I work hard. Why am I not worthy? And it just went to where you numb yourself. And you're like, you know what? You're not worthy enough. Or you're too ghetto, as some of them say. Or, oh, you're an ex-con. Or, and it's like, look at me. Can I fit in? Can you love me? Kenya, was Marlo the housewife you expected her to be? No. No? no. In what way, no? Instead of showing people she actually has a great heart and is a great friend. I think she just went the opposite way, and so that was really disappointing. In New York, she showed you she could be a great friend. Just tell him, look, when you, if you need me to have someone send for my baby, I will. I'm here if you need me. You do not let him spoil your night, okay? Do not. You know, I think that to use the term great friend is, <laughs> is a stretch. Okay. Yeah. Well, it felt good. It's so funny, I was watching the episodes. I'm like, oh my god, I'm leaning on her. You don't put you don't put your pinky up, okay? That's the getaway. She's like, Marlo, her whole Brooklyn do this. So it felt good. And then it you does. turned around we and weaponized good. that against me. So about it, me it felt opening good. up and about what was I what I was going through with my husband. And then when she tries to take low blows, that's exactly who she goes to. So yeah, it was a phony moment. I didn't say anything about her husband this season. Did while you we just were, say you didn't say anything about we my husband? While we were friends, you know, New York. While we were friends. Are you friends. serious? Please, let's not do the Donald mm -hmm. Trump here today. We all saw you talk about my husband on multiple occasions. After we fell out That's the did. first thing that you go to. I am curious, Marlo, it seems like you suffered some emotional abuse um, in the hands of men. I am wondering how you think that's affected how you approach being with men today. I do have issues with men. I do because I feel like I don't need you. The man who was supposed to be here was not here, and I'm gonna handle my with or without you. But that's something I have to work on. The boys even say it. I'm afraid of someone get here and leaving me or hurting me, but I definitely have, it's like daddy issues, I guess. Would you say that you've had an emotionally and sexually fulfilling relationship with a man, or have you not? I have not, because like I said earlier, Running away from home at 10, five different foster homes. You can only imagine things that I've been through. You can only imagine things that I've had to survive. Why people judge me, they don't know half my story. They couldn't walk a mile in my shoes to live on the streets and go into people's houses and sleep on mattresses on the floor. And then they want to call me whores and prostitutes, but can't bring you one guy and one guy and gave head to, but they just want to belittle me because of fashions. Because I take my credit and I like to dress well because it makes me happy. No, I, I just, can I just say one thing? Because I say whatever is on my mind, it's they don't ever true. get to know me. Next time on the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. I'm definitely doing some group dating and, group and I just want to have, yeah. Are you in a throuple?